Welcome to another quick tutorial. Um, we recently just showed off how to create some um, <clears throat> really realistic water with the Hot 4D plugin, which I'm sure you're a lot of you are aware of, but maybe wanted to just see some of the parameters and materials and lighting that goes into making it look really realistic. Um, so this is kind of the result that we came up with, uh, which I think looks pretty darn good. It looks very ocean-like, not too oversaturated or anything like that. Um, and obviously it is animated, so as it's, I'm going to cut it off from rendering. As you see here, it's got this nice slow um, <clears throat> animation to it. But we wanted to um, figure out how to have something floating in it. Um, so, you know, if we wanted to put something like a inner tube or something, let's have, let's say we got a life an inner tube out here in the middle of the water. Um, let's create just like a, a nice red material for it. Oops. Um, and put that on there. Um, and what we're going to do is we, wanna, we want this to basically react with the water and bob in the water. Um, so. What we need to do is we need to basically click on our torus here and we need to add a uh, character tag constraint. Okay, so we need to constrain this and how we're going to do that is we're going to clamp it. Then once you click on clamp, it's going to open up these settings here. Um, we want to clamp it to the surface, all right, which we haven't told it what surface yet. We're going to fix the axis and then we're going to fix it as Fong normal. And because we're doing this, we're going to want to use normals and we're going to want to lock its position. And then finally, our target is, of course, it's not our Hot 4D plugin, but it's actually our plane. So we're going to go in here and boom. And what we're going to notice is, is we've already got, it already has reacted. And if I click play, oops, a little too far below the water we can see we've got a nice bobbing inner tube out here in the ocean. And it's even swaying around with the water. How cool is that? Um, you know, some of you might have an issue um, where you're like, wait a minute, I've got this, this massive problem here. Um, uh, let's see. Where my... Uh, inner tube is doing all sorts of crazy reactive maneuvers, like jumping out of the water or whatever, um, you're going to want to keep your distance at zero. And that's going to fix all your problems. Um, that will make sure that there is no extra distance away from the surface, and then thus your axis isn't throwing your object all around. Um, so if you haven't gotten to the point of having an ocean yet, watch my previous tutorial. The link is, I'll put the link up, um, and I'll put the link in the description. That'll get you to making your water surface. And then once you've done that, um, you'll be able to have a nice uh, bobbing inner tube. Um, maybe you want to make a low poly sailboat. Uh, you want to make a bird sitting on the top of the water. Um, but all of that can be accomplished um, by using the constraint tag, clamp, and um, following some uh, very basic uh, basic parameters um, to get you set up. So anyway, this was a really quick tutorial, but um, like keeping it quick here um, at New Tech Tutorials. If you have any questions, please leave me a question in the comment, and I'd be sure to respond. Um, otherwise, keep watching for uh, more Cinema 4D tutorials like this one, and um, I hope you learned something, and please subscribe. Thank you.